The Object Management Group was founded in 1989 with a very clear vision, a vision that distributed object computing was going to change the way the IT worked. Our focus in the early days was on what became called middleware, that is, how to connect systems with different programming languages, different instruction set architectures, and so forth. That middleware standard called CORBA, or the Common Object Request Broker Architecture, began the transformation of the industry to standardized middleware. But we moved on in the mid-90s while supporting and maintaining our standard CORBA implementations. We moved on to modeling. Our modeling standards now make up most of the modeling standards in the world, the Unified Modeling Language, or UML, the Systems Modeling Language, or SysML, the UPDM, the BPMN, and so forth. But we moved on even more in the late 90s to focus on a realization that standards in vertical markets were going to have much higher impact, perhaps on a smaller market, but with that higher impact could create more opportunities for interoperability and portability. We chose finance, healthcare, manufacturing, and transportation. And the standards in those spaces are now, in some cases, 25 years old and have transformed those industries as well. We realized at the beginning of the next millennium that our focus was not so much just on standards, but on building ecosystems, on communities. When we were approached by a set of organizations that wanted to develop um, some shared ideas, shared concepts, white papers, success stories, case studies, and so forth in service-oriented architecture, we created the Service-Oriented Architecture Consortium, or SOA Consortium. And that sideline, you might say, that started as a sideline anyway, has become central to our mission now, is building those communities that support standardization, but are not themselves standardization organizations. We have three of them besides the object management group itself now. That includes the Corporation for IT Software Quality, which is moving from the realization that you need to measure not only the quality of the process used to develop software, but the software itself. I mean, after all, when a major manufacturer like Boeing designs parts with subcontractors, they work with that subcontractor using a shared process. In the case of Boeing, that's called working together. But still, when the parts come into the factory, they test them to destruction to make sure they'll work in their airplanes. That's a little different in software, where we might have a shared model, for example, the, the CMMI, for ensuring that there's a, a well-defined process for developing software. But once the software comes into the factory, it's just installed. No, we have to do better than that. And the Consortium for IT Software Quality, or CISQ, we pronounce it CISC here, is doing exactly that, defining metrics on software quality and software size so that we can come up with some shared idea of the quality of software that is shipped. We also run the Cloud Council. The full name is the Cloud Standards Customer Council, or CSCC. The Cloud Council is one of our largest groups. I think, in fact, it is our largest group with hundreds of members working together to define how to use cloud computing in finance, how to use cloud computing in healthcare, how to secure your cloud, whether it's public, private, or hybrid, how to choose public, private, or hybrid cloud. Our newest, largest, and fastest growing consortium is the Industrial Internet Consortium. The Industrial Internet Consortium is, of course, not a standards organization, as none of our other communities are. Rather, it's a group of organizations that realize that their industries, whether they're in finance, or mining, or manufacturing and production, or oil and gas, their industries are going to be widely disrupted. And those wild disruptions are not yet understood. The best way to find out how their industries are going to be disrupted is to actually disrupt them. So we build what we call test beds. Those test beds are a water management system in central India, uh, electric power distribution generation and transmission system in Southern California, a smart city system in, in County Cork in Southern Ireland, uh, manufacturing and production system in, in uh, southwestern Germany, and so forth. In each of those testbed projects, we use the architecture we have developed, the business innovation strategies that we have developed, the uh, software um, security framework that we have developed, and so forth, to design testbeds to use the Internet and the Internet of Things and digitization in general to figure out how those industries are going to change by actually doing it. We're learning from those projects best practices, not only for the requirements for standards, which of course feed back into standards organizations like the Object Management Group or OMG itself, but also to other standards organizations. By actually building these projects, by building these test beds and learning, we learn about best practices. For example, how do you train people? How do you retrain people? What are the social impacts of these projects and how are they going to disrupt these industries that we, and we expect disruptions? 
We also learn about requirements for new standards for interoperability and portability. That's what we're seeking, interoperability, portability, privacy, and security. And that is, means requirements for standards organizations, such as the object management group itself. In the case of all of our brands, the Object Management Group, the Cloud Council, the Consortium for IT Software Quality, and the Industrial Internet Consortium, we're looking for ways to improve the IT industry. Many of the outputs of the consortia, other than OMG, come to the OMG to develop standards. And through those standards, we expect to see better, better middleware, sure, and better modeling, sure, but also better systems that make the world a better place.